For this tutorial, we're going to be learning how to make these sweetheart earrings. We need 4mm black onyx rounds, rose quartz center drilled teardrop shaped beads, this nice chunky silver heart link chain, some sterling silver ball head pins, ear wires, flush cutters, chain nose pliers, and round nose pliers. First thing we want to do, we want to take our chain and we're going to need three lengths out of this heart chain. So we'll go ahead and give it a snip. And there's our three lengths. Oh, got a little bit of extra silver there. Take our ear wire and we're going to rock open the loop at the end of the ear wire. String on the top link of the chain and then go ahead and very gently with our chain nose pliers close the loop so it's nice and flush and tight. And now first of our beads we're going to do is we're going to finish the bottom with one of these ball head pins and our rose quartz. So just thread that on there. And we're going to take our round nose pliers about six millimeters from where the bead ends. Go ahead and make your loop so you'll have enough room for a coil, a small coil. And before you close the loop, you want to make sure you go ahead and you string the bottom link onto the loop that you made. Now grasp the loop nice and firmly, but not too tight because you don't want to leave tool marks on your silver. And go ahead and start wrapping your coil. So I go around about one and a half times. Take my flush cutters, which is nice when you have these uh, thin nose flush cutters. You can get into the small spots like that one has there. And go ahead and take your chain nose pliers. And then with the, the chain nose pliers, just tighten in the end. And now there we have the teardrop dangling nicely from the heart chain. So I have two different size of head pins. I have one inch and two inch. I used the two inch because I needed more room with the rose quartz briolette. But for the onyx beads, since they're smaller, I can go ahead and use the, the shorter head pin. So I'm going to take one of my beads, string it on the pin. And I'm going to go about the same distance that I did with the rose quartz, make my loop. And now I'm going to take my earring and with the loop still open, take the second link and string the loop onto the link. Hold it with my chain nose pliers just like I did before with the rose quartz. And I'm going to wrap the end of the wire around, coil it about once, maybe one and a half times so that it goes all the way around. Get in there with my flush cutters, snip off the excess, take my chain nose pliers, and just tuck in the end. So now my first onyx bead is on. Grab another head pin and another bead and go ahead and string that one too. And same as before with the round nose pliers, about five or six millimeters up. So you'll have a little bit of room once you roll in to put your coil. And we're going to take the top link, the link that's actually attached to the ear wire, and at the bottom of that link, we're going to string that onto the, the loop we just made. Grab our chain nose pliers, go ahead and wrap it around. Now when you're cutting off the excess end with your flush cutters, you want to make sure that you don't accidentally cut anything that you don't want to. So you want to make sure that you're looking real close at what you're cutting because you don't want to ruin what work you've just done. So now I've got two of the black onyx beads. Now for the last one, we'll take our head pin, string on the bead, and same as before with the round nose pliers, about five or six millimeters, give it a loop. And now this time, we want to attach this bead to the loop of the ear wire. We want it to dangle from the same place that the chain is dangling from. Go ahead, take your chain nose pliers, and then give the excess a wrap flush cutters, snip off the end, take your chain nose pliers, tuck in, and there we go. We have our 
nice little sweetheart earrings. These would be a great gift for a friend or for yourself.